All right, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our Minecraft Trains project. Don't get too excited because today we are punching dirt. We're punching dirt for two and a half hours. Um, before I start punching dirt for two and a half hours, so uh, about seven videos ago, or last week if you're watching on stream, you remember that uh, there was some inconsistency in the uh, in the track switching. So it turns out that the first time, so when you start a game, the first time the train track is loaded, hi Wesley, it it doesn't load, um, like the, the, the junctions are not activated when they first load. Uh, what do I mean by that? So consider that if you have a redstone signal, if you have a uh, torch for example, and then a, uh, a wire going about a hundred blocks that way, um, so beyond the the entity uh, radius, if there's a signal going out 100 blocks that way, and at the end of it there is a piston, there's a uh, a piston, there is a a piston, then when the piston loads into the game, the piston will activate. So the piston, when it loads into the game, it will see whether there's a signal activating it and it will adjust itself when it loads into the game. So that's why most of the uh, the train circuit works. Because uh, the persisters, these things, actually if I can find the... Okay, these things. You notice there's no, like everything just as they load in, in the distance, these pistons just activate to whatever signal they're supposed to be on. The pistons do that. When they load, they they activate the train tracks do not. So the train tracks, when they load into the game, they don't check to see whether there's a signal on it or not. They just load in the way they were saved. And then, and it doesn't change until the signal changes. But because the signal is already there when the track is loaded in, the, 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 the track doesn't update. The track junction doesn't update. And so then, that's why every time before, every time I go onto the uh, the train network, the first time it doesn't switch properly, right? So it's when I start a game, I go for a ride on the uh, on the train tracks, it doesn't switch properly, and then if I go back and go around the second time, the second time it switches properly, which is the strangest thing. But it turns out that because when it loads, when it first loads, the pistons check to see if if there's a signal. The, the tracks don't. And so what I've done as a uh, as a fix to this is that I've added in front of every junction I've added this little thing here. So this so this is a, a one tick delay there. So this creates a pulse. So if you if you stare at that over there, I don't know if you can see it properly. So if you look at that junction there, when I put a cut there, it just flips a little bit. Right, and then also if this is on the other one, so this is on right now. So if this is off, and I put the cat there, it also flips a little bit, right? So it just kind of quickly flashes on and off. So when the when the when the now when the uh, when the minecart comes to this point, it additionally flickers the junction on and off to make sure that it's set properly, and so now. It, it does it properly. So because the track doesn't uh, set itself when it first loads in, we set it when the train is about to pass it. And so this little bit creates a one tick pulse. And then this little bit, this one, if this is on, then this one subtracts the pulse. If this is off, then this one adds a pulse. And so then whether this is on or off, it just pulses the uh, the, the track for a tech, and so then that 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 little 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 pulse will activate the uh, the junctions, and so now it works. And so I've put these on all the junctions. This little thing here. Another thing we could do is to have a a manual pass forward in the previous persister here. So the other way to do it is that we don't pass the signal forward until we get to this point. So then the, the track uh, junction has been loaded into the game 
and you're getting close to it, and then you activate the junction. And that would also work, but I didn't want to. But this would be a lot more stuff to rebuild, so I didn't want to rebuild this stuff. I think for future loops, we will do that instead of this, because this is like a this is like a retrofit to to make this work. Anyway, so if you are for some reason interested, <laughs> if you're for some reason really interested in uh, how redstone works in Minecraft, uh, how minecarts and redstone works in Minecraft, then that's something you might want to know. Anyway, so now we are going to punch dirt. And that's all the interesting stuff we have for today. <laughs> Punching dirt. So we need to um, dig out this cable duct underneath here. All the way down to the end of the track at the canopy station. That took me a little while to figure out. It's uh, I mean, I tested it. It's, I mean, in hindsight, it's not that difficult, but it's like, you know, when, when I first encountered that bug, it's like, well, why does it work sometimes and not other times? And uh, yeah, eventually I, you know, you figured out that it only does that the first time the chunk is loaded into the game after you start a new game. It's a, uh, I mean, it's kind of specific. I don't know if I should report that. I don't even know if it is a bug. I think it's always been like that, the redstone tracks. I mean, the pistons didn't have that problem. It's, it's, I mean, it's possible that uh, it was always like that. And that, you know, it, Redstone was never really designed to be large scale. One, two, three, four, five. I think there is the middle. I mean, people have done big mine, big redstone projects before, right? The fact that redstone does not activate if it's beyond a certain limit. I mean, some people have figured that stuff out. They have figured out how to like keep. Well, it's mostly using glitches or using unintended mechanics to keep chunks loaded in memory, so that redstone will continue to function even if it's far away. I'm not sure if that's. Oh wait, we went up a step. Oh my bad. Hold on. <laughs> talking about redstone and not actually focusing on punching dirt. Alright, this should be up here. You know, let me just... I should probably put the dirt back. I mean, on the one hand, you can't really avoid having a a limit on how far redstone can activate, because otherwise you can just make giant redstone contraptions and they'll crash computers, right? Because Minecraft is practically infinite. And so if you don't have a, a limit on how far entities spawn, then you have to calculate infinite stuff. And, you know, computers can't do that. On the other hand, I feel like some of this stuff is not entirely thought through <laughs> in terms of the, like, the game design. Like, what does it do and how it handles boundary conditions? The pistons, the pistons do it properly. Speaking of Minecraft bugs, alright, where's they go on? The pistons, you know, when the pistons load in, they check if they have a signal or not. So the pistons, they've done it right. It's not the uh, not the minecart track junctions. Wesley says the problem you were having with vines last time is a Windows 10 edition thing. Okay, well, <laughs> so on the other versions, do the vines break when they're not supported 
from above or from the side. I mean, it's probably just the... Uh, because if you go on old Minecraft and break a block with vines attached, they all break. Yeah, okay. Well, no, in, in here, if I break a block and there's vines attached, they break off the block. But if the leaves decay by themselves, they don't break off. And also, the vines that are directly attached to the block break off. But the stuff that hangs underneath don't break off in this version. It's probably just an oversight that they haven't, you know, programmed in. The ones that are hanging lower, okay. And as I said at the time, like it's... I mean, they made it work for cactus, they made it work for sugarcane. I'm sure they can make it work for vines as well. Yeah, yeah, sugarcane and cactus. I mean, it's... I think the, the intended design is that it does that, but they haven't put it into the Windows 10 version, as you say. You know, when they... Well, I'm not sure actually, because I haven't seen the code. I thought that when they, you know, rewrote Minecraft, like wrote a C++ version of it, which is what this is, that they would revisit a lot of the uh, the ways they did things and try to improve them. I'm not sure that they did. I think they did for the graphics part. I think the graphics is more efficient. But things like, you know, block decay and things like vine decay and leaves and things like that, I feel like uh, not everything has been refactored. Although, of course, refactoring is, is pretty complicated. I'm not sure if, like, redstone should be refactored to try and improve it, make it more functional. Wesley says, they said they improved lighting glitches since the first alpha. <laughs> I would hope so. Bunks of chunks not loading. Well, it still happens though, Wesley. I don't know if you see it. Like, when I play, from time to time, chunks still don't load and there are still lighting glitches. I mean, sure, it's improved, but it still happens. I mean, Minecraft is what it is, so I'm not even sure if there's any... Like, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> it's, it's a big, complicated game. I mean, when you when you make a game where people can ostensibly do anything they want, it's gonna be complicated. All right, so we're going up here, right? I remember this slope being quite high up. Yeah, all right, so we're still going up. Then one more that way. Oh, we're still going up. Alright, and then there. And then we're done. Alright, now we go straight forward. I think they haven't actually changed the minecarts in a long time. I mean, pistons are newer than minecart tracks. Minecart junctions... I feel like the minecart junctions have been... Maybe they could... Uh, they would benefit from a refactoring. Because right now, like you just put them down and there's like a default direction and then th you can... There's a default direction and then you can 
put a power to it to switch it to the, the non-default direction. It's pretty crude if you think about it. The way it's set up. Wesley says, the last addition to minecarts are the activator rails, but I don't see much use in them. Well, I am using them now, though. Actually, no, the activator, I'm not using them. My bad. I'm using the the switch or the, uh, the button. The thing that activates stuff inside the minecart. Yeah, you know, you're right. <laughs> Activating TNT minecarts to troll. Um, maybe if you have, like, a livestock transport system you can use it to move livestock from one part of the map to the other you know I, can, I imagine you can actually can you use it to sort animals there's no detector that can detect different types of animals right but if you have like several enclosures and you have minecarts connecting them you can use that to like deposit animals, like you kind of just have them going around continuously and eventually the animals will wander onto the minecart and then they'll get dropped off. Don't don't ask me why that's useful, I don't, I can't figure out why that's useful. <laughs> it only activates inside the minecart, no it drops, it drops things off. If something is riding the minecart, when it goes over the activator rail, the thing will pop out of the minecart. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's play a little bit. Let's mess around a little bit. So if I'm... If we're like... Uh, there... And then... This is, this is <laughs> a complete waste of time. Uh, minecarts... Activator rail... Let's say we put like that there and then we don't want it anymore and then we like activate it and then we like minecart uh, you know what let me just um, put a track up here so let's say if I get in here if I get in here and I go in yeah I pop out Tetris chemist hi when it comes to minecart mechanics, I really dislike when they made it so that the cart needs something in it to go far. That is also strange. Yeah, so the activator rail will drop anything that's inside the minecart out of the minecart. Oh, I already have one of those. What did I have the year before? Torches? Okay. Uh, alright, back to punching dirt. So presumably you can have, like, systems where you automatically drop things out of the minecart again. If you want to, like, move villages... Yeah, I, I mean, I can't really imagine what you'd use it for either, but... Presumably there are things... The minecarts also stop when you, so when the minecart, and if there's, there's no player inside the minecart, and it travels beyond the uh, the entity radius, it just stops at the edge. It doesn't keep going. So that pretty much removes the, uh, the possibility of an unattended system. So you have to have a player riding or like standing somewhere near the whole system in order for it to continue to function otherwise it just stops when it's when it's not loaded that I think really limits the uh, possibility of automation did it just 
Tetris Chemist, do you know if it used to do that? Did it used to be always like that, where like when the minecart goes outside the entity limit, it just stops moving? If you know. I mean, on the one hand, I understand like if you don't do that, then you might get infinite minecarts outside of the uh, outside of the of the entity radius. I've always known it like that. Okay, so it's always been like that, as far as we know. Uh, okay, I don't want to be down here. I think I've said it before. I mean, it means that you can't have like a, a driverless metro system. Like, imagine like a, an automatic. Oh, that's too far down. Like an automatic mass transit system that just runs by itself, and you can get on and get off, and you don't have to like. There's no buttons to press. You just kind of get on. It's like a conveyor belt. But if the the system only works. Where there's someone inside the cart near the place, then it, you can't have a a conveyor belt system. Hi, Sofa. Welcome. We are punching dirt today. <laughs> <laughs> 